What do you think about the sixth graders this year? I mean, a lot of them think that they're really cool because now that they get, now that they're in middle school. Are they cool? No. Uh, some of them. I mean, not not a lot of them. Were you cool in sixth grade? Of course. What are you most excited about for sixth grade? Uh, Matt. What are you most nervous about for sixth grade? What about homework? Is there too much homework? Too um, little homework? Sometimes when the teachers tell you it seems like too much, but once you go to do it, you realize it's not. What's the thing you're most nervous about for middle school? All the classes. All the classes. There's a lot of them. Yeah, I know. What's the hardest thing about middle school so um, far? I think like all the tests and quizzes that we have. Have you had a lot so far? Yeah, we've had a bunch of quizzes. What's the hardest part of middle school so far? The studying, because you have to study for a lot of things, but it doesn't turn out to be that hard after. It's when you see the test, you're like, oh, it's easier than I thought. What's the most confusing thing? about middle school? I'm um, keeping track of the classes. What do you think about having a lot of different teachers? It's fun because then you could get to see, you have a lot of choices to choose your favorite class and your favorite teacher. What do you it's also hard because um, you have to switch for classes a lot. Well, you, we don't like switching around. No. <laughs> no. Okay. What are you most nervous about for being in middle school? And finals. Okay, you know finals aren't for a while. Yeah. So you got some time to work on that. You excited to get an iPad? Yes. yes. Are you enjoying having an iPad? Yeah. What's good about it? Um, it's easier to take notes. Um, it's easier than if you need to search something online, you wouldn't have to go to computer lab if you're on the other side of the school. You could just take out your iPad. Do you ever play games on your iPad? No. No? Alright. What do you think about having an iPad? It's so cool because I get to put like what kind of tests I'm having on my calendar and I get to like email my friends and my teachers about any questions. What is the best part of middle school so far? That you get a lot of breaks after every class. You get like a two minute break. So you gotta go back to your locker and get what you need, and you gotta have a good little snack. All right. What do you think about the amount of break time during the day in middle school? Uh, it's good because I have time to go to my locker and change my stuff and still hang out with my friends. How about lunch and recess? Long enough? Too short? Too long? Lunch and recess is is it's a good enough time, but recess is a little rushed because you need to get to classes. Is there enough break time during the day? Yes. Yes? Do you have enough time to do everything you need to do? Yes. Great. What do you miss most about lower school? Getting out earlier. What do you, and what's the hardest thing about being in middle school so far? Staying longer. It's a long day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you think about the length of the day in middle school? I think it's too long. Too long. How long should it be? It should be like maybe it should be at least 4:20. For at least 4:20, it's okay. Is the middle school day too long, too short, or just right? Too long. Too long. When should it end? When the like early childhood, like first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Like you used to get at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So, what do you think about the length of the day in middle school? Um, I like it a lot. You do. Yeah. Even though it's longer. Yeah. So why do you like it? Um, well, I like the teachers a lot. Also the periods. The teachers make it fun. That's amazing. What do you think about having a locker? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. What's the best part about middle school so far? So far? I think it's lockers. You have a lock on your locker? Yes. Are you able to open it? Yes. Is your locker neat or messy? Neat. Very neat? Yeah. And how many times a day do you go to your locker? I don't know. What's the rule about when you can go to the, your locker during the day? Um, I think it's in between first and second and third and fourth. I'm not sure. 
What are your thoughts about having a locker? Uh, they're really helpful since you don't need to carry all your stuff around in a day. I actually hurt my arm last year because I had too much stuff in my bag. So this is a, this is a health issue for you? Uh, not really health, but it is very helpful. All right. What do you think about having a locker? Um, Tali and Tali, not so great. And what's the most challenging part of middle school so far? Why? I never get there on time. What do you feel about davening in the minion? Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's the same as when we did it um, in the cafeteria. What are your thoughts about davening with the minion in middle school? I like davening in the minion because it makes it easier to concentrate with everyone around you doing the same thing. What are your thoughts about davening with the minion in middle school? It's good and I, I like it. You like it? What do you like about it? I like to see a Torah tour I get a good experience in the future. What are your thoughts on davening with the minion in middle school? Um, it's fun. Well, it's fun and also I like davening with all the older kids. What about the davening groups that you have two days a week? They're good. They're good? What's good about them? Well, it's just a small group, so you don't have to, like, stand there, like, squished in between people, because you have your own dress to sit in. Can you tell me what the dress code is for oh, girls in middle school? Your skirts have to be, like, up to your knees. You can't wear cap sleeves. Um, you can't wear sleeveless. And, like, your shirts can't be really low. Can you tell me the dress code for boys in the middle school? Yeah. You have to wear a button-down shirt tucked in with a kippa. And do you need to wear a belt? I don't think so. Do you? No, but it's a good idea. Okay. I'll wear a belt next time. All right. Can you tell me what the dress code for boys is in middle school? So... Basically, every day except for Friday, you need to wear a button-down shirt and tuck in. What about Friday? It's casual Friday. You can wear a polo shirt and you don't need to tuck in. So is today Friday? Yeah. I hope so with that polo over there. What do you think about the new building? Do you have any classes there? Two. Two? Well, you're very lucky. Do you have any classes in the new wing? Yeah, I have one. How is it? It's really hot down there. It's really hot down there. Don't worry. The air conditioning's coming. What is the best part about being in middle school so far? You get to have more teachers. You get to experience having more people in your class, making new friends, and having fun. Who's the president of the student council? John O. Rosa. Can you tell me the name of the student council president? Uh, Can you tell me the name of anyone on student council? Brooke Neiman. And what does the student council do? No clue. Do you know what the student council does? They try to help the school get better. Like, like they try to make the kids have like better experiences. All right. Have you had advisory yet? Yes. Can you tell me what you do in advisory? Puzzle, puzzle pieces that represent us, and also we filled out a form that says stuff about us. All right. Have you had advisory yet? Yeah. Yeah. What's the point of advisory? Um, to talk about our feelings. Right. Have you had advisory yet? Yes. What's the point of advisory? Um, to like you have you're in like a smaller group, and to help you like learn within a small group of people and learn different things. If you have a problem in sixth grade, who do you go to? Uh, Dr. Froelich. Dr. Froelich, okay. What does Dr. Froelich do in the middle school? What does Dr. Froelich do in the middle school? Uh, She's like the guidance counselor. Mommy! Sure, okay. What does Dr. Froelich do? She's like Miss Gale from middle school. What does Mrs. Rubin do in middle school? Skirt. Skirt. <laughs> what does Mrs. Rubin do in middle school? She's the 
She's like Rabbi Nav. She's only like twelve. All right. You know what Rabbi Ross does in the middle school? What do you do? No. <laughs> Important things. Important. What does Rabbi Ross do in the middle school? I don't know. I know. I know. What does Rabbi Ross do in middle school? He's the principal. Oh, today was the principal. What does Rabbi Strelovitz do? Not a clue either. No. He's a vice principal. Can you tell me what Rabbi Strelovitz does in the middle school? He's a eighth grade junior. Ooh. What are you most excited about being in middle school? Uh, I'm most excited about meeting all the new students who are just starting middle school. I know it's a very big stage, so people are a bit nervous about it, but there's so many new exciting things. The middle school schedule is packed with all sorts of new exciting activities, and uh, it's really nice to meet all those people getting started at a new stage. What advice would you give to the new sixth graders? Um, well, it's not really not that hard once you learn how to study and organize yourself, so it's really important to make sure your locker is organized, your bag is organized, and you study when you need to, like, to study in, in advance so you know what to do for your tests. What advice would you give to the new sixth graders? That middle school is fun. What advice would you give to the new sixth graders about being in middle school? Definitely do not worry. It's not as hard as everyone says. Dr. Froelich, what words of inspiration do you have for our new sixth graders as they begin middle school? Uh, I, welcome to middle school. You're going to do a great job. All you need to do is work hard, be optimistic, and care about your friends.